scan complete. You are cleared for landing at New Atlantis. Unlocking the targeting control system skill will allow you to zero in on specific subsystems of the ship you target. After destroying an enemy ship, you can loot the remains from your cockpit. Starfield is our first new universe in over 25 years, but it's still a Bethesda RPG through and through, where you step into a new world and you get that feeling of unlimited possibilities. But this time, it's not just one world. Systems, from running research projects with the resources you find to crafting weapon mods needed to survive. And you can build your own outposts. These act as a home away from home for survival and resource generation. You can choose where and how to build each one, and you can hire characters you meet to keep it up and running. But that's not all. You can even build your own spaceships. You can choose crew members, and yes, you can completely customize the look and layout. There's loads of different modules, ship manufacturers, and more. I have to say, it's so cool, we just absolutely love this. Humanity has always hunted for knowledge in the unknown. The wonder is, not that the field of stars is so vast, but that we have measured it. over a thousand worlds. Because the choice of where to go, it's not ours, it's yours. And it wasn't until now that we had the technology to create it. From the rocks at your feet, to the mountains in the distance, to the people and creatures that live in these worlds. That isn't just a backdrop. That moon is actually there orbiting the planet. Yes, you can visit it too. We realistically simulate the galaxy around you. Our next generation lighting model uses real-time global illumination to light the world based on the type of star and the makeup of the planet. We also have an all new animation system. And of course, you can play it in third person and you can play it in first person.
We love exploration and rewarding it, but you do explore differently in this game given its scale. That usually involves exploring an area you've landed in. You can collect resources, do a mission, and maybe even stumble upon something unexpected. because we're committed to the biggest question of all. What's out there? You're part of Constellation now. Part of our family. We do not fully understand all that is at work here. No finer group in the stars to be unraveling this mystery. I'll follow you from here on out, Captain. Grab jump is ready. I love this part. These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. Another great secret the universe is asking us to unravel. Human settlements throughout the galaxy could be at risk. We are not stopping. Whatever lies at the end of this road will change humanity forever. Hi! Welcome to another video of Starfield, the most anticipated game. In this one, let me start with the spaceship gameplay, and intense character creation, an in-depth skill system, and plenty of Bethesda-style factions, and some actual raw footage of the game. Let's watch now. Alrighty, what's the plan, Captain? This is your star map. It starts with the planet you're currently on. You can see all of its info and resources. You can choose a landing spot or fast travel to known locations. Backing out further, you can view all the planets in the system. Obviously, the game is big, and it's here you can see planets that have key locations, missions, or life on them, versus the many planets that are barren but resource heavy. Zoom out even further to see all the systems in this part of the galaxy. Here, you can plot a course to ones that are light years away. This uses your ship's grav drive to fold space and jump to these systems. And you will need to upgrade your ship and skills if you want to jump to the most distant ones. But for now, we'll plot a course to the Alpha Centauri system, where we can find the city of New Atlantis. We have companions and crew you can take with you. I left Vosco here back at my ship. Welcome back, Captain Howard. And he can even say your name. Let's head out.
it's our most flexible yet. You can customize all the elements of how you look. You'll pick a background that gives you three starting skills. It says here you spend some time as a diplomat. Having a way with words might prove useful. There are optional traits, and these come with unique advantages and disadvantages. But it's not just in how you can look, but in how your character plays and develops. The skill system combines the best from our previous games, and you can unlock new skills as you level up, and then you rank those skills up by using them and completing challenges. And there's deep crafting systems. We do love stuff and all of the items allowing you to pick everything up. And you can view all that in your data menu. This is the hub for everything you're doing, from your skills to your ship, your missions, and your inventory. We love to pack a ton of detail in every object, from all of your weapons, to spacesuits, to food. We just obsess over the details, and food, we obsess over food. According to the scanners, the abandoned research facility is in this direction. Pirates of the Crimson Fleet are using the facility 